Welcome to Guns and Gear Network everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to introduce you to the new Humvee for the Guns and Gear Network channel. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we are going to introduce you to our new Humvee project. If you follow my channel, you know that I've done different projects over the course of the years. Uh, the FJ Cruiser build out, uh, bug out vehicle, the uh, M416 military trailer turned into an overlanding rig, that kind of thing. So I was getting bored and I've always wanted a Humvee so I decided to purchase one. I got very lucky and uh, stumbled across this one from an individual and uh, I bought it. So um, this right here is a 1988 M998. It's one of the original. They started in 86. This is an 88 model. It was uh, a National Guard unit. If you look down here at those numbers, it says N-G-T-U-F-U. I don't know what that means. Um, it's kind of hard to find some of these markings and what they mean and where they're at. Uh, but anyway, it was a National Guard unit. I do know that. I've confirmed that. And that's what the NG stands for. So this one has very low miles. I tend to believe that the mileage is correct on this one. It's got 17, around 17,000 miles. And the reason I believe it's correct, it was uh, factory refurbished or rebuilt in 2000 so from 1988 and then 2000 they redid the whole thing um my guy that i bought it from purchased it at government auction at 2000 in 2017 so give or take uh it's been sitting ever since and uh it runs like a sewing machine it runs excellent no leaks nothing i got very fortunate i feel like i got a very fair price for it uh when i purchased it so I'm not going to do a bunch of videos about refurbing because this one needed slight just kind of fluff and buff I call it because it was in such excellent shape. If you saw the steel pictures rolling in to the video before it started, it's kind of how it started looking. Uh, it's got cork paint um, that is a uh, chemical uh, blah 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 resistant paint uh, that the government used. They no longer use it because it's pretty carcinogenic working with it and stuff like that. They don't use it anymore. Um, I have done a little bit of kind of refinishing the paint a little bit with A, paint, and B, what's called the WD-40 treatment. Um, that is kind of like a cheater just to make the paint look a little better. It's real chalky. You can see that in those pictures, but uh, to kind of give you an idea. But um, very clean unit compared to others. Uh, I'll do small videos, but I didn't want to do a ton of videos because there's so many people that specialize in Humvee videos. Uh, we'll do some videos about discussing, you know, are they practical, you know, that sort of thing. Should preppers buy one, uh, what have you, and I'll, I'll give you my opinions on all that. Um, I just think they're cool. I think they obviously are a very cool vehicle to own. Um, and I was just like the historical fact of it. I've always liked the military collectible type stuff, whether it be Millsurp, uh, firearms, uh, that kind of stuff. So just uh, thought, I thought, you know, why not? So I've done a few things already. I have done, uh, you know, some painting, some detailing, cleaning up, uh, repainted this grill um and the uh, brush guard area that was a uh, camouflage that was a little rusted and stuff so i went in and blacked everything out uh, again painted the wheels i added this little on the snorkel that is not a factory snorkel the big tall snorkels kind of hinder your view this one's kind of a compromise that is nothing more than a four inch um uh, coupler so it's like it's rubber material in my opinion that's actually a better seal if you're going to do any kind of water fording um that that would protect it quite a bit much more than the factory with it going a metal on metal can uh, you know contact um this right here is at least rubber uh sealing up everything so anyway i have ordered new seats these seats were all intact uh that sort of thing they were a little faded a little weathered just because the guy that owned it never got doors so i'm on the hunt now for doors i'm going to put soft doors on it 
and uh, do that but I think I've got some sourced out we'll see how that goes uh, stuff like this is getting a little harder to find right now but I think I've sourced a set of doors I'm going to piece mill it uh, from a couple different sources but it's got the original military tires these are um, good years they're the MTs that have the run flats uh, with b-lock wheels so kind of give you a walk around the interior again was in excellent condition I have done a uh, cark substitute paint job on the inside believe it or not if it looks really clean you go hey that looks great it didn't need a lot of paint to be honest with you it was just kind of touching things up it was it was that clean I got very fortunate I think because of the National Guard thing it just wasn't used that much I mean you know a lot of these things matter of fact I'm trying to think near my home there's a National Guard headquarters and I'm trying to think the last time I saw any of their vehicles moved and the reason I say that is because there's like grass growing around them and stuff like that they hadn't moved them in forever two or three years so they sit there they don't use them um, this one actually has the uh, if you see those little attachments in the center area, that's actually kind of a, the, it's their attempt of doing a, um, kind of like a winch that you use your wheel system. We'll talk about that again later. Uh, one thing you'll notice, there are a few things that they normally decommission off uh, these M16 rifle holders. They left them intact here. I've since added uh, cup holders, added two of them, one over there, one here. And I've got little small projects I'm going to do with this thing. Uh, all the VIN numbers and placards were in place. Most all the decals were in place. The warnings, the tire pressure 22. Uh, some of them I'm going to replace. I've got to order a sticker kit. There's a real nice guy off of eBay that comes that came up with a whole entire sticker kit. If you're wondering what that is, that's just my uh, tag blacked out for privacy reasons. If you noticed in the beginning of the video when the pictures were rolling in, this thing had a cargo cover. I have since removed it. It was just in bad enough shape that it took away, because the other, all the other part of the vehicle looks so good, it just kind of took away from it. So I went ahead and removed it. My son kind of likes the uh, truck look anyway, so I'll probably buy a cargo cover for it. I just think uh, one more you know, thing to configure with it. That's the cool thing about these, you can configure them. This is configured in the four-man soft top. Of course you've seen the up armored um you know troop carrier uh i mean they make these things into snow plows it is very modular in how you can configure it it's pretty ingenious design to be honest with you as far as how many different ways you the military could configure this thing depends on their needs at the time so it was kind of neat the whole thing um you know you know the mrap story they're kind of phasing out these humvees I do not believe that they'll phase out the Humvees 100%. Um, I, the reason is is because uh, MRAP is so big and just, just uh, it's not conducive just to ride around a base, right, from point A to point B or hauling, you know, uh, uh, some troops just on a training exercise. It's just not conducive for that. It's big, heavy, it's top heavy. It's not a good design. Uh, not for that, not for that application. Just a basic troop carrier moving, you know, handful of people. Because uh, you can turn this into an ambulance configuration, all kinds of things. So I find it very hard to believe that they'll eventually phase this totally out. I think they'll all be some in commission um, being used. So, but guys, this right here, I got very lucky. We'll discuss my thoughts on the prepping aspect of it. Yes, I like it. I'll just go ahead and kind of give you a little bit of my personal, you know, my personal thoughts on it. Um, so yes, I like a diesel vehicle. This right here can, it's called a multi-fuel vehicle. So it can use kerosene, it can use diesel, it can use, I think, Avgas or Jet A or one of those. It's one of those av aviation fuels. Uh, but you can also uh, tune this thing to run off of burnt vegetable oil kind of stuff. So it, from a prepper's aspect, it's pretty practical. From a daily driver or anything like that, it kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, this in particular one being the 6.2 version with a three-speed transmission, you're only talking about a top speed comfortably about 55 miles an hour. If you start getting much over 55, this motor's really screaming, and it's not good to stress it that way. So not real practical to just keep driving it around like that. So 
you know, it is what it is. I got it for to enter in parades. Uh, we're going to do a few things. We'll go to like Cars and Coffee and some different car shows. Uh, we'll take it for display purposes. Uh, we'll do some military car show events. We'll also do some just regular events. I want to start offering like a service to uh, veterans' families where we do what well, I'm going to call it the honor escort, where if they request it free of charge, me and my son will go out and uh, escort the funeral procession um, with the uh, with this uh, Humvee. So just kind of do a little stuff like that, just to kind of give back to the veterans and uh, that sort of thing. I, I just think it's I like the historical purpose of it uh that's kind of my thing is it's uh, it's to me it's a collectible in that regard uh being uh you know that sort of thing but anyway guys just thought i would share the new humvee project uh, if you got any questions post those below uh if you would check out our amazon store it's got plenty of stuff in there i'm actually going to put a humvee section now so if you guys wanting some parts and pieces or whatever, a uh, good place to check out for stuff like that and a lot of different things. Also check out our sponsors. Uh, don't forget uh, Tack Knives. You get your 20% off coupon code with GUN20. Uh, be sure to check that out. Follow the link tree and that will take you to all those links uh, to be able to check out the different affiliate stores and so forth. Thank you guys. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.